Hello, I got this really strong, pathetic word um, from God just a little bit ago, and I got just got done um, praying about it because I wanted to. I mean, it, this is really too, a power packed word. I mean, it's it, it's power packed, and it's for. And there's also a word in here. Um, I won't say who the people are. I mean, I know who they are, but I won't give their names out. But when I give the word, you three people will know who you are. There's three of you, and um, this word is is. There's a word in here for y'all, specifically, a Pacific word, and you'll know who it is once I, I um, speak on it. But I, this is a really strong, pathetic word. I don't know if I, well, it's just like exposing the enemy is what I'll call it. It's exposing the enemy to full exposure, more or less. Not, you know, nothing's left in the unseen because the enemy in this time is really doing, he's sending his little groupies out. To do his bidding, you know, to do his, his evil schemes and his bidding. And to try to, you know, stop God's people from doing what he's called them to do. But now he's he's exposed to being brought to full light. His schemes are being brought to full light now in the name of Jesus. Because I just got done praying over it and prophesying over it. And just really seeking God on it for a, a while now. So that I could, you know, break the, break the enemy's little schemes and cancel his assignments in the name of Jesus because they're not going to come to pass no more. God's people are now rising up. I'm telling you, he is rising his prophets, his prophetess, his teachers, his evangelists, and his true ones, that is, the ones that are true and really got a heart for him. He's raising them up in this time and then this season and placing them where he's called them to be. The doors are going to begin to open where he's going to just really put them in there. He's going to catapult them in there. He's going to he's going to place them there and it's going to be where they're called to be and they're going to do what they're called to do. There's not going to be no more hindrances, no more things keeping his people from doing what they're supposed to do. This is the time where he's he's putting them in position. He's getting his people ready. He's prepared them. He's he's done the things that he needs to do and now he's placing them in their place. He's putting them in their place in this time and in the season. I mean, he, he's doing that now. He's he's exposing all the, the enemy's schemes. And, and, I mean, he's bringing them to full light. There's no more darkness that's going to be left in the dark. <laughs> it's all going to be brought to light. But the word that I got for those three people is, and, you know, when I get this word, you'll know, you know who you are. I don't have to give your name. I don't want to, you know, put the spotlight on people because I know a lot of people don't like that. And I don't blame you. But you'll know. By the words that I give, that, that it's for you. But there's three of you. It's three women, I'll tell you. It's three women. And um, the enemy has had you blind, blinded by what he's doing. You haven't really, you kind of had an idea of that. I mean, you knew that he was doing something. And he was trying to keep you from something and trying to prevent you from doing something. But you didn't know quite what it was. But now it's being brought to light because, you know, he he's... God told me now's the time to do it because, it, you know, it, he, his schemes need to be put to a stop. And his people are getting being, you know, put into position now. And for that to happen, the enemy's schemes has to be exposed. And his plans have to fall by the wayside in the name of Jesus right now. Hallelujah. But, yeah, for the three of you, it, it you know, you haven't quite known what it was. You know that there's been a hindrance. You know that there's been a block. You know, like a, a, like a, kind of like a wall, I guess, that was put between you and what you wanted to do and what God has called you to do because you know what he's called you to do. You just haven't been able to reach it because there's been like this wall that's there. There's something's just been blocking you from getting to it and you didn't know quite what it was. But see, the enemy has had you blinded to it, but now your eyes are open to it. God is opening up your eyes to that so that you can come against it. You can pray against it. And you can do what needs to be done and break that hole and have your eyes open fully so that you can see fully what the enemy is doing. You can see his plans. His plans are exposed and God's going to show you that. He's going to show you and expose to you exactly what he's doing so that you can pray against it and you can come against it and you can, you know, put a stop to it. Because God, you know, he he's wanting to place you. He's got a really um, important and really, really... Uh, powerful call on your life and you know that but there's just been like this wall that's been between you and what you need to do and what you where you need to go and you know you need to get there and I know you've been frustrated there's been frustration and just anxiety about it and you've been stressed about it but don't be stressed about it because that's what the enemy wants he wants you to be stressed about it and just distracted by all these distractions and just you know 
He just wants to prevent you from getting to where God wants you to get to. But that's not going to happen anymore. God's, he, he's exposing his little schemes and, and the enemy's plans are being brought to a halt. I mean, right now in the name of Jesus, I just got done praying and prophesying over it. I mean, I named you to God. I brought your names out to him privately so that, you know, I wouldn't have to do it publicly because I don't want to, you know, put the spotlight on people because there's no need for that. I mean, you'll know who I'm talking about without me, you know, pointing you out to anybody. But I will keep that, keep your names private, but you don't know who it is because you know that, that there's been this, this blockage. There's been this, this wall that's, that's kept you from getting to where God needs you to be, but he wants you to, to get there. And now's the time for you to get there and you're going to get there. There's not going to be no more prevention. You know, the enemy's plans are being brought to a halt because I'm exposing him. I'm bringing it to full light because it's ridiculous what he's trying to do with God's people. It's just downright crazy, but he's, his plans ain't going to, they're not going to work. I mean, your breakthrough is right there is coming. Just, you know, just keep following God, listen to him. And when he exposes it to you, pray against it. And do, you know, he will instruct you. He's not giving you instructions on how to do it because some of you don't know how, you know, to, to fully come against it. But he's going to tell you how to come against it. He's going to, you know, give you the instruction or whatever that he needs, the information, and, and teach you how to, to pray about it and teach you how to come against it because you don't know how to, to fully do that. It's like spiritual warfare. It's like a second, I don't, I don't know, it's like a, I don't know. It's spiritual warfare, but it's like a, I don't know how else to, it's like a just a different level I guess it's just like a higher level in spiritual warfare I'll say I'll say it like that it's just a higher level of spiritual warfare that, that you need to you know do so that you can prevent the enemy from stopping you from getting to where God wants you to get to because I'm telling you the enemy's pulling out all the stops and we know that I mean we've seen that clearly and I mean in everything that's been going on he's he's pulling all the stops out he's not Holding nothing back. I mean, it's like he's coming at people full force. I mean, it's not just certain people. He's coming at everybody. <laughs> I mean, all of God's people. Because he doesn't, doesn't like the work that God's doing in, in his people. And he wants to prevent it and stop it. And just, you know, keep it from getting to where God wants them to get to. But that's not going to happen. We're going to get to where God's called us to be. And he's He's called his, and I will say this, um, actually for other people too, that are for the God's prophets and his other, his other prophets and prophetess and, and teachers and evangelists that are listening. Cause I know there's some of you that are listening, um, that are kind of been wondering, I mean, you know, that you know what God's called you to do. Obviously, you know that, you know what he's called you to do, but now you're just wondering when is he going to put me in position? When is he going to, you know, open the door for me to, to do what I'm called to do. And I'm telling you, I'm here to tell you now's the time. He's going to open the, he's going to start opening up those doors like now. <laughs> and he's going to, you know, he's going to open those doors that no man and no demon in hell can, can close. And he's going to expose all the schemes of the enemy because he knows the enemy's trying to come against you. And he's going to expose that to you. He's going to reveal it to you. He's going to show you it so that you can pray against it. You can come against it. And that nothing will keep you and hinder you from what God has for you to do because he has some major, major, um, plans for a lot of you to do and the enemy's been coming at you i mean full force <laughs> like he has with all god's people of course but i mean he's he's pouring it on extra because he knows that you have a high call on your life he knows that that god's called you to a high calling and he's trying to keep you from it but you know he's being exposed like i said and there's there's nothing that's going to be left in the dark no more all that darkness is being brought to light Everything that's been in the dark is now, God's now exposing. He's bringing it to light. He's showing you exactly what the devil is doing, what he's trying to do, and what his little schemes are. And, he, he, you know, he's giving you insight on it and, and showing you how to come against it and how to pray against it so that you'll know how and that you'll have the, the knowledge and the wisdom that you need and the, and the understanding that you need. To come against it because this is a powerful thing and it's going to take you know a higher level of spiritual warfare i mean I, you know how to do warfare spiritual warfare but this is like up a level <laughs> so he's he's going to reveal to you how to how to come against it because there are certain ways that, that you have to come against it and pray against it for it to be broken so god's going to reveal that to you and show you how to do it so that you'll be able to come against the enemy and what he's doing because he's you know his 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 days are numbered you know <laughs> God's putting him to full exposure. I mean, he's exposing everything. I mean, I know that, that the enemy's always getting exposed, but, I mean, he's bringing him to full exposure, not just partial exposure. I mean, full exposure, 
where people are, are coming out everywhere speaking of Jesus. I mean, we've seen that in the Super Bowl, for instance. <laughs> that guy flat out, I mean, coming right, I mean, on national TV. I mean, giving God all the glory for them winning the, for the Eagles winning the Super Bowl. I mean, come on. I, it's going to start happening everywhere, not just in football. It's going to happen in every industry. I mean, not just football. It's going to be football, basketball, hockey, uh, golf. I mean, everywhere. It, it, it's going to be exposed everywhere. It's going to be brought to light, even in news media. It's going to be brought out. I mean, there's going to be people that are stepping out, and this is this is just the beginning of it because God's bringing those people out. He's giving them the boldness, and he's telling them, no, you need to bring this out. You need to... To give me the glory, not just privately, but publicly. Give me the glory so that this world can see who I am and so that they will know that there's only one God and I'm it. You know, and he's exposing that. He's bringing it to full light. So it, it's going to start happening, not just in the NFL, but it's, it's going to happen everywhere in every industry. I mean, not just some. It's going to be fully, I mean, <laughs> we're going to see it in these in these weeks and days to come. I'm telling you. And months and years, and it's, I mean, it's going to start coming out more and more. Every day, it's going to start coming out. This is just the beginning of it, but it's going to be in every industry. That is so awesome. I mean, there's going to be people that are just going to get the boldness, and they're going to say, well, look what he did. I, he, can, he can do it. I'm going to do it. If he can be bold enough to come out and say it on national TV, I'm going to do it. I mean, it's going to be a domino effect. They're all going to do it one after another after another after another. I mean, they're going to get, the boldness is going to just come alive in, in all of God's people. Even the new believers, even the ones that have just given their life to Christ that are in those industries, in the the music industry, in the fashion industry, in the, the NFL, the hockey, golf, I mean everywhere, the movie industry, all the industries. It's, it's going to be brought to full light. And God, he, he is really, <laughs> he's doing an awesome work in people in this time. I'm telling you, he is doing an awesome work, but this is just the beginning of it. So we ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> This is this is really going to be an awesome, awesome thing. But I just I had to give this word, and I pray that it blessed you. I know it will bless you and bless those that, that I had that word for. And you'll know who it is. You'll know it's you. <laughs> so just be listening. You know, keep your eyes open and ears open. And when God, you know, tells you how to pray about it, pray about it. Seek him and just, you know, seek him with your whole heart, and you'll find him. And just, you know, follow his direction, follow his instruction, and you'll be just fine. Because that enemy... He ain't got, he don't stand a chance. And I'm praying for you too also. I just got done praying for you. And I'm going to also keep all three of you lifted up in prayer. And all of you, not just the three, but specifically those three that, that the enemy's really been pouring it on. Trying to keep you from where God's called you to be. But I'm keeping you all uplifted in prayer. So don't, you know, I'm standing with you. <laughs> I'm standing in agreement with you that you are going to reach your full potential. And you're going to do those, those things that God's called you to do. He's going to position you for it and he's going to place you in it and there's not going to be a demon in hell that can stop you so and not even a person on this earth that can stop you nobody's going to stop you you will reach your full potential and, and do those things that God's called you to do so praise the Lord for that but I just wanted to give this quick word because it was really strong on my heart and I mean God just I mean he spoke it to me as I was praying and I was like Lord and he told me who the, the three women were that, that I needed to pray for and I prayed for you and um. You know, and he wanted me to give this word to you, and you'll know who it is. You'll know what you. <laughs> so I don't want to, you know, bring your name out to light or nothing, because I know a lot of people don't like that, and I don't blame you. I mean, you don't want to be, you know, there's no need to do that unless God says to, of course, but he didn't say to. So I'm just going to, you know, I just gave the word to let you know, and you'll know who you are. So you will know I'm talking to you. Praise God, praise God. But I pray that you have a blessed day this this day. <laughs> your day goes well for you i pray blessings and peace over you and i thank the lord for you i, I pray over all of you every day and and um i just keep you all uplifted i tell you especially those three that that, that really had this high call in your life i'm telling you we're going to see god put you and have you do some amazing amazing things but it is going to be awesome praise the lord praise the lord but on that note i will let y'all go. I just don't want to hold you too long. I know that, you know, a lot of people got to get up in the morning and go to work and stuff. So I just wanted to, to give this quick word out there to, to y'all and, and pray that it blessed you. I know it will bless you and then it exposed the, the plans and the schemes of the enemy and his little groupies that they're trying to come against you. They're not going to be able to come against you no more. They're being brought to full light, full exposure. So praise God for that. Hallelujah, Jesus. 
But until next time, y'all be blessed. And um, also, don't forget to, to, if you haven't already, um, sent the prayer request in to me for people that you want, you want me to add to the, my, my prayer board that I got going. Praise God. But it can be family members. It can be friends, relatives, whoever that, you know, God puts on your heart to pray for that you want to pray for. Just feel free to email it to me. I'll put my email in the description box of the video like I always do. Hallelujah, along with my other information. But until next time, y'all be blessed and have a blessed day and a peaceful day and a restful day. Hallelujah. And until next time, you be blessed. Bye-bye.